what's up everybody welcome back to the channel today i have something good for y'all something cool i hope you enjoy it if y'all remember dylan from season five the one that i guess josh from the woods had a problem with him sitting with the kim folk well i got him on here we did an interview he talks a little bit about 60 days in he talks a little bit about what he's been doing since 60 days in but before we get into the video let me also remind you guys as always that i do live stream on twitch we watch the new love after lockups over there we have a great time we have a blast if you haven't followed me yet, please do so. Link is below in the description. Hope to see you guys there. And also, big shout out to my members. As always, thank you guys for supporting this channel. It really means a lot, and I'm very grateful. Now, with all that out the way, let's drop right into it. Apparently, people know who you are, but for the ones that don't, let them know who you are. Right. Uh, well, I'm Dylan. Um, probably most people know me from 60 Days In. It's really the only thing I'm really known for at this point. So <laughs> Yeah, for real. Um uh what were you locked up for? Uh burglary. Oh yeah. Yeah, I robbed a weed shop in uh in a gold shop and down here and up north, so Oh damn. Yeah. How much time did you get? Three and a half. What years? I ended up doing three of it, so Oh. Yeah, oh. I signed an open plea. Actually, my first two pleas were three and a half to six and a half open. Okay, uh, they weren't going to give me anything else, so I signed it, hoping to God that they'd give me the three and a half, and they did. So right. Um. Well, I do have some questions, actually. Well, obviously, people know you on the show and everything from there. Do you get recognized on the street? Uh, no one really comes up to me. Not like. <laughs> particularly hey i know you from 60 day no but i see uh, i i can tell like a lot of people was stare at me maybe it's because of the face tats now though i don't know <laughs> <laughs> well did you feel like um because i know at one point you were chilling with the what they call them in there the kinfolk you were hanging out with them uh, and uh yeah, they call me kinwood in there oh really <laughs> yeah <laughs> Hey, but um, did any point you feel like, you know, that shit, did you, did you actually go to prison or did you just stay at the jail? No, I actually went to prison. Uh, see, for the show, I was just waiting for my, for my sentencing. So okay. basically I was just waiting a few months. Actually, right when I, when I got in that fight with Ratchet and they mm. took me to the hole about three weeks after that, I went to the yard. So. Okay. And it didn't follow you there like they said it would? Nah, man. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't like they made it to be for real. But mm. it was a lot of tension. Just the yard I went on actually was tension in itself. Okay. So, yeah. yeah, normal uh, politics and shit. Right. Um. Did you know it was a show going on? Yeah, I actually. Uh, it's funny. I just started a podcast about. Uh, I'm trying starting to talk about that a little bit. Okay. So they had me sign a paper uh, when I first got there. And they're like, we're doing a small documentary, you know, this is through Small Fish Productions. Like, they wouldn't really tell us much about it, but they're like, we're basically just, if you want to be a part of it, you want to help other kids kind of like show them what jail is like so they don't go. And I was yeah. like, yeah, for sure, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'll sign it. Okay, so you had no idea it was 60 Days In, though? No, not at all. Okay, because I was always wondering how they get, like, I know they had the participants, but I always wondered, wondered if... uh other inmates like did they have to sign contracts about being on being on camera and shit like that you know what i'm saying we don't get that point of view you know right yeah That's so good like, you let me know that yeah so every inmate every inmate that was in there you have to sign a paper of course because they do have audio hanging from the ceiling and cameras all over so oh, okay yeah um did at any time did they like try to push like an idea into the pod and y'all like react to it or come up with like ways to deal with shit. What do you mean by that? Um, say, okay. For, for instance, what's his name? Um, the one that Abner slapped, uh, I can't remember. Uh, his name. Yeah, I, I, I kind of seen that. Uh, Abner was actually in a different pod. Right. I'm sure you know that, but yeah. 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 But it's like, he, he did slap someone, did he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's like, say, 
the producers or whoever is running the cameras, they come to y'all like, hey, we want to see this kind of happen, but we let y'all play it out. Like, here's an idea, like. You no, know not I mean? at all. Okay, no, no, okay. no, no, no role play at all. No, but okay. they would come in with the film. They had a big old camera and like this dude, they'd interview people literally in the middle of the pod, which okay. they didn't even put that on the show. So I don't know why they did that. Okay, okay. Mm. Did you at any point realize it might have been 60 Days In? Not at all. Not really? a chance. I, I didn't even know what 60 Days In was, like, at all. Like, mm -hmm. first time I heard about it was when they said, hey, you're on 60 Days In. I'm like, what? My uh, family actually told me why I was in prison. So I was like. Oh, shit. Tipping out. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, what was it? Okay. you can, How long you been home now? Okay. I got out uh in october so i've been home for what is it august and 10 months okay and how was it like transitioning from prison to normal life bruh it was it was hard i'm not gonna lie yeah. my first two months i actually went to this place called new freedom in phoenix mm -hmm. or it's in peoria arizona it's a really great place actually it helps you you know, transition from, from the prison lifestyle to real world, you know, back into society. Okay. But it was hard, bro. Like, I'm not going to lie. I felt like I went straight from a box to another box that had mm. a little more freedom in it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because they don't let you leave there or nothing. So. Was it like a halfway house? It was hard. No, no, not at all. But it, it is sobriety based. And okay. It, it does have like NA meetings and church and stuff, different stuff like that involved with it. Okay. Um, is there anything like that we, you've seen the season now, right? No cap. Nah, I, yeah, I seen yeah, bits and parts. I ain't oh. really watched it all the way through. <laughs> I was going to say like, is there anything, <laughs> anything crazy that we don't know about that happened, you know, while they were there? You know what I mean? Nah, not necessarily. Um, there is a lot of like stuff they didn't show, of course, you know, just like the, the downtime that we had in the conversations between all of us in the pod. Like yeah. the way they made it seem was like, OK, so they made it seem like so Josh was actually the one who told me not to run with the white, with right. the white boys. He right. said, if you do this, when you go to prison, they're going to kill you just the way I am. You know, the way I act, my, right, my right. swag, just the way I am, you know. Yeah. And uh so he, we had a, a group discussion. Every race in the pod, I'm, I think they showed that part. Yeah, we're all in the in the room right there. We had a group discussion, and everyone in there was cool with it. You know, what I mean, they're like, "If this is your choice, this is your choice." Right. And, and then they made it seem on the show like they were mad at me, like, "Oh, you're a race trader, a fence jumper, or whatever they wanted to say about me." Mm -hmm. and, and me coming in initially, I didn't even know. Like, I didn't, I didn't really know politics. Like, I don't. I don't care about that stuff. Yeah, you know I mean, I mean I'm, the, I'm the same. I'm the same. Yeah. Because um, I know I figure East Coast, because like I said, I'm in Virginia, so it's probably a lot more different out here than it is out there in the West Coast. You know what I mean? So right, yeah. I did six years Fed time. And, uh, okay. yeah, and I didn't have that problem. I, where I'm from is mostly black, you know what I'm saying? So when I'm locked up, you use that's usually – in the feds you run with basically who where you what city you're from you know what i mean yeah like your hood or what, yeah. your hood so, basically. So that's yeah. what i did i didn't have no problem i mean white motherfuckers ain't like it but i ain't give right. a shit you know what i'm saying <laughs> i mean i had similar you know being from casa grand i i went to middle school high school in casa grand it's the suburbs you know what i mean and a lot of people that i was ended up on the yard with knew me from casa grand right and it just kind of worked it worked bro it worked um you still talk to david yeah yeah i just was actually texting him the other day i got his number and stuff we chat i need he's to get busy him on a lot. i'm busy but is he still a cop or he's doing something else no he's still a cop is he i'm pretty sure he's still a cop i just seen a post he just had it was uh him at the shooting range in his in his uniform oh, okay so yeah, I need to get him on here, man. I haven't, I haven't talked to him at all. The only one I've had on here is um, Abner and Mark. Right. Yeah. yeah. I actually did an interview with Mark and, and David, and okay. I actually just got in contact with Abner just yesterday. So. Okay. 
He's like, I didn't even, he's like, oh, okay, I remember you, my bad. He's like, I didn't really <laughs> recognize your name or nothing, but he's like, I saw my bad. I was like, it's cool, bro. <laughs> I didn't um, do it for a name, you feel me? How, how were the COs there, like, without the cameras? Uh, they were cool. They were chill. Some yeah. of them were. It just depends, you know what I mean? Yeah. Some yeah. were, some were, some were kind of like, off the wall with what they did and then somewhere like chill you know just did their little walks and let us do us okay oh um do you have any plans for the future of course who doesn't yeah, um, right. <laughs> one, one, of, one of my plans right now so i just got married oh congratulations uh man. on the 30th thank you mm -hmm. yeah so that's a that's a big step in my life i didn't really think i'd ever settle down but i found the one i love and we got married so That's anyway i got about. a five-year plan my five-year plan is to get an rv so that i could travel the world nice nice so that's 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 my goal right now that's what i'm looking forward to for the future for my okay. family uh well you say you didn't see much of the show i was gonna ask you did you pretty much approve of the way they showed you in there like i knew they do a bunch of editing because on one yeah. one episode that, that was what you were like the main focus, you know what I'm saying? Right. So I was yeah, gonna... I feel like they represented, you know, me pretty well and who I am. Uh, yeah, I mean, I didn't really, from what I did see, I, I haven't really watched all the way through, but okay, it's probably something I should do. I mean, I yeah, I would. Like, really no <laughs> point for me to watch. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I should probably watch it and just kind of like see what they put out there. Cause they, they, the way they're putting it, like Mark was afraid to uh, come at you and say something, and Josh was like, "No, you got to do this if you want to be one of the head of the of the woods. When I leave, you got to go talk to him. Tell him he ain't supposed to be sitting with uh, David and all them." I right. was like, "What the fuck, man? But who cares?" It was crazy too because like that day in the pod when all the races got together, you know what I mean, and we all made a, a final decision. Like, this is what I'm gonna do. Because mm -hmm. if I make the decision now, when I get to the yard, there ain't no going back. And right. I knew that. Right. So he knew that, too. Josh knew that. And I don't know why. I think it was just more of a pride thing. You know what I mean? He was yeah. made prideful. Like, oh, okay. Like, he really was about what he said he was about. Yeah. And he didn't think I was. So maybe he got mad. And he was like, we got to take care of this. We can't, we can't be looking like this on TV or whatever it was. You know what I mean? Right. Honestly, if he... Since yeah, I wouldn't have followed him. I would have probably whipped his ass, and I would have took the spot. Honestly, I didn't really care for that dude, man. <laughs> you know what I'm I saying? didn't. I mean, yeah, I hear you. And Mark, Mark's a great guy, man. He's he's a he's a Christian, and uh, he didn't even feel comfortable being put in that position, right? So, yeah, I love Mark to death, man. I I get along with him real good. Yeah, he's he's great, man. Yeah. I actually, when he first came on, and because this is what my channel covers is 60 days in usually. When I first saw him, I was like, yeah, he's going to tap out within fucking two days. And he, he <laughs> was right. the one that made it to, he, he made it all the way to the end. I was surprised. Yo, so, so you know how they say, like, you had, did you ever realize, like, you asked me, did I think David was undercover or whatever? Mm -hmm. I really couldn't because I could tell, like, David's been through some things. He's from the streets for real. Right. When it came to Mark, though, I kind of was, like, wondering, like, I was like, how did this dude end up in jail? Like, he does not like, belong here at all. But I didn't have no suspicions of him being an undercover, but I was just like, nah, this don't, this don't make sense, though. <laughs> I said, this motherfucker look like a damn chomo or something, man. That's what uh, nah, don't think. do it to him. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I kids, mean, that's man. what I say, though. He knows I say that. <laughs> you know, yeah. but I don't think that now, but when I first saw him on the show, I was like, right. yeah, they're going to think he had chill mode. They're going to give him a hard time. I was like, fucking Christ. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he'd be like, Bible studies. And yeah. everyone's just looking at him like, hey, bro, those Bible studies help. Though. I, I did sit at the table a few times with him. Well, that's cool, man. Hell yeah. Um, that's pretty much it, man. Um, is there anything you want to, like, you know, plug your uh, socials and all that, you know, so people can follow yeah, you? Yeah, so... It's just my first and last name for my Instagram. I mean, okay. D I L L O N H A L L A M. Okay. Um, not really too worried. I got my TikTok. I'll put on my Instagram too, and Facebook's more just for family and stuff. So. Right, right. The IG. Uh, I'm I'm making these podcasts now. I'm gonna make more. 
and I want to make some music really soon. I'm trying to get this little this little audio kit together so I can really focus on it because I okay. do have some things I want. I'm pretty, bro, I'm gifted, bro. I'm not trying to brag, but I do want to get some music out there because I've been telling people since I've been out, yeah. oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. You know, just life hits you and you're like, man, right. when am I going to find the time to do this, really? Exactly. I know, I know how that And is. I recently just quit smoking weed, too, so that was, a, yeah. <laughs> bro, right, basically, you-, you can hit me on IG. Hey, um, where's your podcast at? It's on Anchor. I actually Anchor? just yeah, Anchor. Okay. Um, when you get a chance, send me that link to Instagram. I'll plug it on my uh, channel and all that. That yeah. And I'll check it out myself, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna get a little bit more into depth of like things that people don't know that happen along my journey, and I'm also gonna do it about my my life journey too, just as growing up and and things that people don't know about me that might give them a better understanding of why i am the way i am today right know? right that'd be good man that's yeah. always a good thing all right um yeah that's about it man i appreciate you taking the time man you too bro i mean we've been meeting the link but yeah. i know i've been kind of <laughs> here and there like hey bro we're gonna do this and i'm like right. oh, I don't have to. yeah but thank you for taking the time to no problem man. have me on your show man anytime man. i appreciate you um i'll try to have this out today actually sure yeah. And uh, yeah, check it I mean, out. No, send me the link and I'll and I'll share it and we'll run it up. Hell yeah, no doubt. All right, man. Well, I'm out of here. I appreciate you, man. You too, bro. Bless up, man. All right. There it is. <laughs> hey yo. <laughs> Uh, oh, yo, that shit scared the fuck out of me, man. <laughs>